Hey, welcome back to some more Civilization VI as Portugal. So, now that we are done with Byzantium, at least temporarily, I have two options. I can either focus on expanding, or I can wait 10 turns and then declare war again, to either wipe them out entirely or take at least another city or two. I do have 300 grievances now. It might be best to wait for that to cool off at least a little bit, because I will have a hard time getting friendly with other civilizations if I get like 400, 500 or more than that. So it might be best to try to expand. Let's see what's down here, because I might be able to start a decent city over there. So we'll send an escort. I'll just grab a warrior. Yep, might as well. And then probably a builder. I will not be waiting for a specialty district. We'll just finish state workforce. So other than that, I do have enough money to just buy a monument. Let's do that then. And grab the promotion. Done. So technically I could have like two more cities in this area, but I can always do that in the future. Uh, okay, so there's a barbarian camp down here. I will need that escort for sure. But it does look like I will be able to go further west. So we'll see about that. Let's take care of the zombies. There we go. I wonder how much tougher they will get later on. I guess we'll find out. So I'm technically still losing some loyalty here, but once the city grows one more time, it should be fine. Yep. We are currently in a dark age, but it doesn't look like that will be a major problem. And yes, I'm aware we have a goodie hut still. So I wanted to grab the pearls, but now I'll have to wait a little bit longer. And there is some land nearby that I might be able to settle. But I'm going to need shipbuilding first. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Hold on, this should actually be connected through land. So let's just send the settler in this general direction. Sounds good. So next up we have a few options. I could try to build the hanging gardens. It's a nice wonder. I definitely wouldn't mind. But it looks like I'll need one more tile to be able to build it. We could get a campus. Well, there's a plus three possible up here, but I would have to remove the forest. Let's actually grab a builder real quick, because I need more improvements. A lot more improvements. You guys heal up. Alright, for the research... We could get started on currency. We could also get started on bronze working. I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to kill more barbarians. Maybe these guys. But we can at least get started on bronze working. I need to know where Aaron is. If we could reveal that before deciding where to settle the next city, that would be best. So next up, political philosophy. I need to meet one more city-state to boost that. Let's see if we are actually able to do that. So, for loyalty, I could actually get slightly more loyalty by picking up Garrison Commander right now. But I don't think that will actually be necessary. In fact, I can probably move Magnus out of the city and back to my capital. It's not needed right now, but it's an option. We could also pick up our secret society. <sighs> you know... Also, Minerva would probably still be best in this situation. Especially with Singapore nearby, it's a nice city-state. But Void Singers wouldn't be bad either. I need to think about this. I probably won't be getting my own religion, so I guess Void Singers aren't as good. Sanguine Pact would be okay, but I don't have that yet. I have a feeling I'll just end up going for all of Minerva. Oh, hey, another city-state nearby. And that gives us political philosophy boost. What's the quest? 
trigger Eureka for the wheel. Yeah, we can do that. Probably. I just need to mine a resource. We got, okay, a hero. So this guy would be useful for war, I guess. I was hoping for something like Hercules, maybe. But alas. That's not ideal. I might just wait for some more heroes. We did get a scout, so that's nice. Now let's wait for the builder. Yeah, this should be a nice spot for a city. And I can send a few archers to take care of the barbarians. If we could get a bronze working post, that would be best. So, two more builds, let's get the rice improved. And then some production wouldn't be bad. I might just wait to get that heal and then get that improved. So recruit a great admiral. We will not be doing that. At least not in the near future. That's for sure. How's the religion situation right now? Yeah, I will definitely not be getting a religion. I'm not even going to try because I can't really do it anymore. Yep, we can go through here. I just need to go through the city-state territory. And we'll send the scout in this general direction as well. So, uh, that governor title. I might actually grab Amani and send her to Singapore. It's not a bad plan. I could actually get Singapore right now. I got one envoy. I think I'll just do that. Okay, let's just do that then. Off you go. And I'll send the envoy right away. Here, and then we can probably get the quest done eventually. It's just not going to happen soon. But as Portugal, it will definitely happen. Uh, this looks like a canal potentially. Well, maybe not. This is a lake. Never mind. But it looked promising for a moment. So let's avoid these barbarians <laughs> until I get the archers. I need these city-state units to move out of the way. Also, I wasn't planning to explore with a builder, but I mean, it works, so whatever. We made contact with Congo that way. Let's try to get friendly with him. Will he buy our honey? Yes, he will. Uh, he will pay a decent price as well. I will probably get a diplomatic penalty with him, because I got so many grievances with Byzantium. But hey, he's actually going to pay basically 200 gold. Heck yeah, I like that. And he also has Alls of Minerva. Which means, if I pick it up as well, I will get a diplomatic bonus with him. I just need to get another governor title. But we'll get that. So, I will delay bronze working to get the boost. Should be doable. I could also buy a few tiles, like that salt over there. Yeah, let's just buy it right now. The border just expanded. Here you go. Decent enough yields and we'll get the wheel boost, which also gives me the envoy. Loyalty looks fine. Yep, now it's rising. 0 0.4 per turn. Okay. I'm not fighting that guy with a scout, that's for sure. Maybe we can find another goodie hut in this area. That would be nice. Alright, I don't want to go too far with the builder, but I can just use him for my new city, once I start it. That's probably the best. Yep, he already denounced me. That wasn't exactly very surprising. I definitely have a significant penalty with him. Yeah, minus 25 right now, because I have 251 grievances with Byzantium. But that's okay, we'll wait for that to cool off a little bit. Now, let's go deal with the Barbarians. I can move one tile and then attack on the other turn. Because if I move any closer, they might actually take initiative. 
and attack my archers first. And I wouldn't want that to happen. Will that builder actually move out of the way? <laughs> uh, he's not in a hurry, is he? No, not really. Well, there's a good had. Uh, that's not a bad hero. That is definitely not a bad hero. I would prefer Hercules, but alas. Maybe some other time. There's the builder, now I need a few mines. Yep, I still want the pearls. Let's maybe go and get them. Yep, might as well. Granary, because I don't have that yet. We got some horses in this area. Byzantium wants to buy horses. I think I would rather sell that to Congo. Here's yet another hero. Uh, that's a nice one for war. Because of inspiring. And also for city-states. Anyway, let's see if Congo is buying horses. And how much he will pay. No, he won't pay a whole lot. Uh, hold on, let me try that again. Oh, hold on, he will actually pay, but not that much. I might be able to get a better price from Byzantium. Now, selling horses to Byzantium could backfire, but 38 horses isn't even enough for two units. So, it's fine. Yeah, this is definitely a better price. Okay, yep, this looks good, accept. And I could use that money. Here's another civilization. <laughs> I think this is the first time when I met two civilizations with a builder. Interesting color you got going on there. So let's send a delegation. I fully expect him to denounce me as well. But oh well, it's fine. Maybe we can make a deal first. It's not the best deal of all times, but I'll take it. I will definitely need some friends sooner or later. And now I need that builder to move out of the way. Does it look like he's in a rush to do that? Bronze is the there, we got bronze working. So where's Aaron? Is there any at all? Anywhere? Zero results, really? Not a single one anywhere? Fine, okay. Let's get the wheel. Hopefully we'll find some, because this is not an ideal situation. Over here would be best, because then I could actually start a city over there and have iron. And we do have fresh water from the lake. Is that builder going to move at all? Because I can't actually go around here without shipbuilding. Like, I literally can't go through here. That's a troll builder right there. I guess I could go like this. Take the scenic route. I might have to do that if the builder doesn't move. Yeah, I think so. So... I could destroy the outpost, but I could also leave it here and wait for it to convert into a city-state. I think I'm just going to do that. I wouldn't mind the city-state over here. So we do not want to raid it. Okay, yeah, let's just leave it here. What's the next civic going to be? A military tradition. And let's pick up our government. I might actually go for classical republic. For the plus one housing and the plus one amenity. Let's check what the AIs have. Classical Republic, Autocracy, and the Classical Republic. Well, Pedro doesn't hate me too much just yet. Let's get Classical Republic. There we go. That will also give me a great person bonus. I don't need God King anymore. What do we want? I could pick up land surveyors to buy a few tiles. We could also pick up colonization because I will be getting more settlers probably sometime soon. 
Uh, I don't have one envoy, so diplomatic league. I don't think I need any dark age policies right here. No, not really. I could save 4 gold per turn on unit maintenance. And we could also get Ilkum. Okay, this will do. Done. So, let's just keep the orchards in this area, because I assume more barbarians will spawn. I might as well just keep exploring with that builder, because why the heck not? This is a pretty interesting map. Is it this like a giant inland sea? It's kind of hard to tell on the fractal map. And okay, let's just go all the way around, because it doesn't look like that builder is going to move. He's definitely not in a rush to move. We got astrology. Sure, okay. Why not? You guys just chill. I will finish the granary. Obviously. I don't think I'm going to bother building a holy site right now. I'm definitely not getting a religion, so... There's no need to build that. I can maybe build one later. And yep, let's just go around. I got trolled by that builder. Oh wait, there's a natural wonder over here. And here's another hero. Okay, this is going to be a very nice spot for a city. If there's Aaron over here, that would be even better. And since I do not plan to disperse the barbarian outpost, we'll just finish military tradition the regular way. No Aaron, but this is a nice spot. We got fresh water. I'll be able to have a harbor up here or so, and we'll have a natural wonder. And this is a nice one, because it doubles the terrain yields of all adjacent tiles. Very nice wonder. Alright, there's the granary. Now I kind of need some districts. So I could buy this tile, get the builder and chop the forest, and then build the campus over there. That's acceptable. And we could just get a government plaza. Somewhere in the middle would be best. Like over here, for example. Then I could have, let's say, a commercial hub on this tile right here. So this could be a commercial hub. Like so. And this could be a government plaza. And then I could have a Great Zimbabwe right here. Or right here. So this could be a government plaza as well. Either way, this should definitely be a commercial hub, because then I will be able to build Great Zimbabwe in the future. I could even build the Great Zimbabwe in my capital, on this exact tile. So let's reserve this tile for the Great Zimbabwe. That's obviously not happening anytime soon, but it's definitely happening at some point in the future. Now, let's just get a trader, because I'll need one at some point. And we'll keep exploring with another builder. I mean, he's already all the way up there. We might as well use him to make contact with other civilizations. It's a weird scout to have, but if it works, it works. It's not stupid if it works, alright? Yeah, look at this. This is going to be a very nice spot. We got three forest tiles around the Wonder. I just need to think about where exactly to settle. I'm leaning towards right here, because then I could reach the forest. I will also have fresh water, and I will be able to build a harbor up here. So this could be the city, and then this could be a harbor. Where's the harbor? Right here. So something like this. That could work. And potentially, like, this could be a canal in the future. So then this city would actually have direct access to the ocean or the sea, whatever this is. Okay, celestial navigation to unlock the harbor, because as Portugal, I will definitely need that. We can get mysticism next. And let's keep moving. I need to get here ASAP. That builder still hasn't moved. That's a troll builder right there. That's what he is. 
Well, I'm glad I'm taking the scenic route, I guess. Because I would still be waiting right now. Let's chop the forest. I'm not going to wait to move Magnus, because that will take too long. Just chop the forest, and then we'll build the campus up here. It will be next to a volcano, but that's fine, probably. <laughs> Famous last words. And here's a trade route, plus 9 gold per turn. We get a plus 50% bonus, because we're Portugal. Okay, let's send that to Brazil, because he doesn't hate me yet. At least not as much as Congo, apparently. So there you go, that gives us currency boost. And let's keep exploring. More barbarians and another civilization. I will send a delegation. I can't really sell anything to him, which is fine. He's probably going to complain about my lack of navy sometime soon. <laughs> Just Norway things. There's mysticism. So I'm not exactly recruiting any builders right now. I probably don't need Ilkum right now this moment. I'm also not recruiting settlers either. So let's just get rid of that. Temporarily. I don't think I will be building a wonder right now. I could still try to build like hanging gardens or so. Which is not a terrible idea, that's only 12 turns. I'm kind of considering it. So what I could do is chop this forest right here to finish the campus and then try to build hanging gardens. That's an interesting plan. Let's try to do that. So we'll pick this up temporarily. Then I can save some gold on unit maintenance. I don't need the Dark Age policies. Yeah, I guess we can save some gold on unit maintenance. That makes sense. We could also just pick up urban planning. It's not a huge bonus, but it's a little bit of extra production. So let's buy this. And the next step, we can get started on drama and poetry. So if I can build hanging gardens, that would also boost drama and poetry. That would be nice. Let's see if I can kill that scout. I also have a promotion on my own one. And we made contact with another city-state. Recruit a great writer. Probably not soon, but most likely sooner than an admiral. Although, who knows? I can probably kill him. Okay, let's keep moving. You can't cut me off here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy before someone else sends a settler. By someone else, I mean Brazil, basically. So, chop this and then try to build hanging gardens. If I can manage to build hanging gardens here, and in the future Great Zimbabwe here, this would be a great spot for a theater square, potentially. So let's just place a theater square here. There we go. And I do have a mod that shows the adjacency bonuses on the tax. It's quite useful. Hero discovered. Yeah, I don't want that one. Carry on. So this way I can place like Green Zimbabwe and immediately see that plus two bonus, even though the wonder doesn't exist. It's quite a handy mod. So let's say this would be the Hanging Gardens, and now it will be plus four. Okay, chop this. Make sure it will, will go to the right city. I will finish the campus, though. Might as well, right? So, 10 turns to build Hanging Gardens. I could also try to build Temple of Artemis later, but I want Hanging Gardens. Just finish the campus, that's only one turn. And I need the science. Kill that scout, nice. Yeah, this is really starting to look like a giant inland sea. I'm not sure, it's hard to tell. Okay, here's another civilization, Poland. Good to know. Send a delegation. Will she buy horses? Looks like she will. Oh, she doesn't actually have the money. Interesting. 
Okay, she does have five cities total. Will anyone else buy my horses? Because I could use the gold. What? Why does he have zero gold? That's a little bit odd. Well, I might have to try Congo here. Will he pay? What the heck? Why is everyone broke? Is that something to do with the zombies? I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay, fine. But I could actually see zombies, like, breaking the AI logic. Because they might, like, spend gold to buy units to defend themselves against the zombies or something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing why they might be broke right now. Okay, so Hanging Gardens. That's nine turns. The library can wait. I could just buy the library if I really want to. But it's a little bit too expensive for my taste. I don't think it's worth doing that. If anything, I could buy the granary in this city to make it grow faster. To kickstart the growth. This is going to be a very good city in the long run. I really like this spot. Can we still not see any iron anywhere on the map? Okay, one result, really? One single result? Okay. That's just bizarre. Anyway, this is the spot. I don't think I will be changing my mind about that. Yeah, this way we will get every single tile around the wonder and I will still be able to get a harbor up here. So this is good. Okay, yep, that works. That's also plus three era score. And now I think I'm going to buy a granary here. Well, either granary or monument. I do have five housing because I have fresh water. So monument first will be better actually. Make the border expand faster. And I could also buy a few tiles right away if I want to. Mostly the ones around the wonder. So this one and then this one on the next turn. Once I get more money. And we can start building the granary ourselves. Okay then. And we can still go even further west. And we'll get 30 diplomatic favor, <laughs> basically for nothing. There's the harbor unlock. Set your course by How's our era score? Okay, if I can get 33, I will get a heroic age. So I don't need that much more. We should get some naval unit, but I don't really want to do that in Lisbon because it's busy building the Hanging Gardens. 30 turns is obviously a little bit too much. Yeah, I don't want this to cost me the Hanging Gardens. That would be bad. What else can we actually do here? Well, I don't have enough time to build a district in Nicomedia. But we should start building some kind of district. It might not be a bad idea to build city walls, because I could actually see Byzantium attacking me. Yeah, let's get city walls. I will feel safer with city walls over here. We will unlock currency next. And then we can get started on this commercial hub. Because I'll want that in the future anyway. Yeah, I need to think about how to make sure I get that heroic age. Because it looks like I should be able to do that. I mean, I could get a naval unit here right now, but again, I don't want that to, to cost me the Hanging Gardens. That would be rather bad. I could actually get rid of this barbarian camp, but it's not close enough to my city to give me the bigger era score bonus. And in the long run, I would really prefer to have a city-state over here instead. I don't know. Well, here's another city-state. I got three envoys. Well, I guess I can just grab it right away. I can grab Preslav. It's not going to give me anything right now. 
Oh, and I still have Diplomatic League, actually, so hold on. I could get Mohenjo-Daro. So that way my cities will have full housing from water. Even if they otherwise wouldn't. So that would help my capital right away. It doesn't need it right now, but it will need it soon enough. It will also help this city. It's not a bad bonus. Okay, so let's do that. First send the one guy. Here's another hero. So that's useful for war. Hold on. So, okay, I would need how many turns to get a ship? I can probably get it quickly, once I finish drama and poetry. And then get the policy. Maritime Industries. Because I have nine turns. I can get a naval unit before the era switch anyway. So that's going to be the plan, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to cut this episode here and continue in the next one. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.